All right, today we are gonna show you how to add a theme to your WordPress page. This is gonna change entirely how your WordPress page looks and functions. We're gonna take it from looking like something like this to something like this. Before we do that, please be aware that if you already have an existing theme in place, adding a new one is gonna do exactly what I said. It's gonna change everything. It's gonna change how everything looks and functions. So just do a bit of due diligence, a few checks, make sure that everything's still gonna be how you want it and you're getting what you want out of a theme switch and not making everything worse. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find a theme, decide on what one we're going to use. So where are they? Let's head over to the appearance tab on the left-hand side in your sidebar. And we're gonna go across and just click on themes. So from here, you can see all of the themes that have been installed previously on your page. Now you might find if you're brand new to this that you just have one theme and it's just showing one thing and more than likely it's going to be one of these, the 2024, 21, 23, 22. It's going to be one of those options provided by WordPress that is giving you the basic outline of your website based on the year in which you started your WordPress website. But we don't want any of these. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a new theme. And a couple of ways of doing this. And the first way is if you're gonna use a free theme and we wanna check out the WordPress themes repository. So you can either click down here with the big plus add new theme option, or we can go up here to the wordpress.org themes, whatever you have available. So we're just gonna click here. And as you can see, we now have a whole host of themes available to us. So we can go through these. There are so many that you can find one that is going to suit what it is that you're looking for. You can start to look at these by what's popular, the latest ones, different types of block themes, and most importantly, or probably the most useful, should we say, is the feature filter. So you can go through here and you can find things that suit what it is that you want to do with your website. And it'll narrow that down to find a theme that suits you perfectly. Now, what I want today is a really great beginner friendly theme to show you. And what I'm gonna look for is the Astra theme. So in order to find the Astra theme, I can just come over to search themes here and I'm just gonna search for Astra. There we have it over on this side here. This is the one I'm looking for and I'm just gonna click on install. So that's installed and just before we activate it, I just want to show you something. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into the details and preview just in another tab here. So this is a preview of what the Astra theme is supposed to look like. Just put that in your mind for a second as to what this looks like. It's really, really great. This is very clean, it's very nice. However, what we're gonna do now is let's go back to our WordPress themes repository and we're just gonna activate this Astra theme. You're gonna to need to do that no matter what, make sure once you've installed, you activate the particular theme that you're looking for. So we can see now on our theme page, it's showing me new theme activated and it's showing me that the active theme is the Astra theme. So let's visit the site and see what that looks like. Now you might think or you might notice that that pretty much looks nothing like the Astra theme that we showed in the preview. There's really not a lot there that is similar. Okay, so let's go back to how do we make our website look more like the demo or like something that we want to use. So we've got a couple of options. If you've got a paid theme, the likelihood is that the developer is actually gonna have some documentation on the website, or you can even get in touch with the developer and they're gonna be able to tell you how to accurately do that. You might even get a step-by-step. -step. However, with a lot of themes, one of the best things you can do is look for maybe a starter pack or some demo content. What this is gonna do is gonna add all the different WordPress plugins that you need. It's gonna add the dummy content and it's basically gonna create the site for you. Now with Astra, one of the best ways you can do this or the best way you can do this is by installing a plugin that is associated. So let's do that. Let's go over to plugins. 
and we're going to add new plugin. If you want some more information on how to add plugins, then please click the video that I will link at the end of this one. It's very useful, particularly if you are new to WordPress. So from this, from the add plugins page, from this WordPress plugins repository, we're going to go across to search plugins and we are going to search for starter templates. And here we go. This is what I'm looking for right here. It's a free plugin. So I'm going to click install now. And just like everything else, we hang around and we activate immediately. So starter templates is going to give you a couple of options. They do have an AI website builder now, but we're not going to worry about that today. We're going to go with the classic starter templates. I'm just going to click on build with templates there. So you can see here that it's immediately giving you a variety of options. Now this is kind of a freemium system. So a lot of the basic ones are going to be free and then there are some that you can pay for, but a lot of the free ones are actually excellent. So we're going to scroll down. We're just going to find one that suits what it is I want to build. So I'm just going to use this first one, the nature one right here. So I'm going to click on this and it's immediately giving me options to amend and edit my website. So pretty much if I was just to continue with this as it was, this is what my website would look like straight away. And now, yes, that doesn't look identical to the demo site, but you've definitely got a website that you can work with there. You can start editing and amending all your appearances and various different things. But what you can do to start with is you can come over here and you can just do the basics. Like we can change what kind of font styles we want. And again, we can change the color palette. If you're not worried about this or if you're worried you've actually picked the wrong one, don't worry, it can all be changed at a later date. So let's go for the green one. Let's do something fairly nature based. Again, if you've got a logo, you can upload it here. Or again, you can do this later. You don't have to do it right now. Let's go down and hit continue. And you can select a few features that you want to use or don't want to use. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to choose my own plugins and things that I want to use with regards to this. So I'm just going to skip this step. Okay. So this bit is important. Again, you don't have to fill in this bit at the top here, but here you have your advanced options. It's going to install the required plugins in order to make this work. And the customizer settings here, this is going to override some of your, uh, your settings that you have already. Down here to import content, you can see it'll tell you what it's going to do. It's going to import your dummy pages, posts, images, and menus. So kind of what I just showed you a second ago, it's going to import all of that content. We're going to do that. We want to make this look essentially like a fully functional website, and then we're going to edit it from that position. Uh, down here, you can choose whether you want to share non-sensitive data. That's entirely up to you if you want to do that. So we're just going to leave it like this, and we're just going to submit and build website. There you go. That's done. It says your website's ready and took just 28 seconds to build. So let's, let's just view the website, see what it's come up with. There we go. And immediately we have that website. And I said earlier, remember what it looked like to start with. It looked obviously nothing like that demo page. Whereas now we have an entire website that we can work off and we can build on. So this is what we had originally. And then if we look over here, this is what we get once we add our theme and then our starter template. We can start changing this up by using the customize option here. We can then look at adding pages and changing all the different elements of your website. And if you want to check out a video that's going to show you how to do this step by step from scratch, then click the video right here. So that's how you're going to install a free theme, but there's also paid themes, which generally going to offer you a lot more functionality not always the case, but it is if you get a good one and you're also going to get a lot of support. So if you're unable to make your page look like it's supposed to in the demo, a paid theme, you're generally going to get a lot more support to do that. Maybe some step-by-step -step instructions. It's just an easier way of sometimes getting things done and getting more features. So I'm going to show you how to install a very particular paid theme now, one that I like quite a lot, and that is the Thrive themes. So I'm going to show you how to install Thrive themes and we're going to install a theme from that. So firstly, this is Thrive themes here, nice and straightforward. And I'm just going to go to get Thrive suite just up here. It's going to tell me what I need to do. Now, Thrive isn't just themes. You've got various different options from Th Thrive, things like Thrive Architect, Thrive Leads, Thrive Theme Builder, Thrive Quiz Builder. The options really are 
quite extensive when it comes to Thrive. What we're interested in is this one, the Thrive Theme Builder. Now, if you do want to check out Thrive, then hit the link down in the top pin comment or in the description where you're going to be able to get it for the best possible price. You can see on the screen right now the huge discounts that I've got, and those are available to you if you head down to either of those two links. So we're just going to head back to our dashboard because to get Thrive to work, what we need is we need the Thrive Product Manager plugin. So we're going to head over to plugins here. I'm going to go across to add new plugin just here. Now, this isn't a free plugin. We're going to see in the WordPress repository. So what we're going to do is go up to upload plugin and we're going to install the one that we have downloaded. So we're going to click here on choose file. From here, we can come up and we can see there I have Thrive Product Manager downloaded. You're going to get that once you've got Thrive. And we're just going to click on open. From there, it's the same as all of the plugins we are going to install now. And once we've done that, we want to activate that plugin. So we're just going to come over here and click on activate. So now if we look in our sidebar, we've got product manager just here. So we're going to click on that. From here, we're just going to connect our Thrive Themes account. Super easy. I'm going to click log into my account. And because I'm logged in on this particular browser, it just automatically knows that I want to connect like that. I didn't even have to add my email address or password. It's super, super easy. So here we have all of the Thrive products that I can use, all the Thrive products that I can download. And what we want to be using today is Thrive Themes. So we want to use the Thrive Theme Builder. So it's actually this one down here. So I'm just going to click here and install theme and it gives me the option to install selected products. There we go. Super quick. Selected product was activated successfully. It tells you exactly what Thrive Theme Builder is there. Theme Builder lets you visually design, build, edit, and customize every aspect of your WordPress website with a visual drag and drop design. It just means you're going to be able to see everything with, you're going to do it. It's going to edit something on your page and it's just drag and drop. It's really, really easy. Let's let's go and have a look. So we're going to go to the Theme Builder dashboard. So here we've got themes we can start with. So it's similar to what I showed you with starter templates. So let's go up here and I'm going to click this one. Let's start with this one here. I'm just going to click on choose. No need to preview it. And from here, you've actually got a really great theme builder wizard. So this is going to take you through absolutely everything you can go through. It's going to do logo, brand colors, your headers, footers, your homepage. It's all going to be edited step by step. So once we've gone through the wizard, we can have a look at what our site is going to look like. And obviously there's some content to be added here, but it's like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of dummy content that has been added, images, text, and it can all be edited by you to whatever you want it to be. Now, this is missing a featured image. And if you want to learn how to add a featured image to your blog posts, then click this video right here.